Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Mike Lindsley. I'm back with you. It is nine minutes with Mike Lindsley all over YouTube, Facebook, and IGTV. I'm right here, again, at the Phoenix Sports Restaurant, part of the Phoenix OTB, and you can come here six days out of seven and bet on your races out at Saratoga. We got the Jim Dandy coming up. We got the Alabama coming up. We got the Travers coming up. We've got all kinds of great races. The Whitney, of course, as well. August, the biggest month, of, of course, out at Saratoga. And you can come after work, enjoy a nice beverage and a great meal. They've got a lot of awesome specials here uh, throughout the week. They've got some all-you-can-eat uh, boneless wing specials, steak specials, spaghetti and meatballs and all the rest. And special announcement for you on Saturday, August 18th, I'm actually going to be here for an event. You're going to be able to win a bunch of great prizes, a foursome to Timberbanks Golf Club, uh, a huge prize pack uh, that we're putting together a night away at Batavia Downs, including a dinner. So make sure you come join me here at the Phoenix uh, Sports Restaurant, the OTB, $12 mix and match buckets of beer during Saratoga race days as well. That's any day of the week, and we'll have that same special for you on August 18th. I want to talk about the story in baseball right now that occurred last night, and that is, of course, Gary Sanchez completely lazy running to first base. Now, look, here's the bottom line uh, to start this thing. What is Aaron Boone thinking? I, I know Twitter universe, I know a lot of the critics, the pundits out there will say, well, Aaron Boone can't win either way. Aaron Boone is, uh, you know, if he, if, if, if he bunts DD and it doesn't go right, uh, you take the bat out of Stanton's hands. If you uh, go the other way, there's somebody else complaining about it. I understand that. But I'm here to tell you, John Carlos Stanton was 4 for 4. He was swinging the bat probably the best uh, in that game since opening day against Toronto when he cracked two home runs out. I would have let D.D. Gregorius hit uh, and, and not bunt. And then even if he gets out, you've got first and second with John Carlos Stanton up there against a lefty closer who's throwing wild and hot fastballs over the middle and wherever else. And that is an M.O. for John Carlos Stanton to get up there and take his pitches to get a fastball dead red and hit it into the gap. That was a completely asinine decision by Aaron Boone. Now, on top of that, you have two outs. You have Daniel Roberts in the shortstop shifting to the left side of the second base bag. Sanchez hits a rocket. you got to give him credit for that. But it was perfectly placed, of course, in today's shifting sabermetric world, naturally. The throw goes to second. Aaron Hicks beats it. But, wait a minute, Gary Sanchez is going up the freaking line like a goddamn snail. And, of course, boom, he's out by a, a, a long shot. So uh, this, is, this is a disaster for the Yankees right now. This is a disaster for Aaron Boone. This is a disaster maybe in the clubhouse because here's the thing. This is not the first time this has occurred with Gary Sanchez. This is not the first time we've had issues with Gary Sanchez and, 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 and the craziness, the laziness, all sorts of stuff that has gone on with Gary Sanchez. He barked at Luis Severino. Now, granted, Luis Severino failed to cover home plate early in that game uh, on a wild pitch, but neither her nor there. I am still very, very annoyed that Gary Sanchez is going back to Severino and, and barking at him that much. He's got to be more of a leader in that catcher position. And in addition to that, Gary Sanchez didn't run balls out when Joe Girardi was the manager. Girardi benched him. Gary Sanchez was warned about running hard in the minor leagues with Rob Thompson. He was warned in the minor leagues uh, lower than Scranton Wilkes-Barre and, and, and elsewhere. Dude, you got to start running to first base. You got to start hustling if you're going to keep a spot in the Bronx. This is not the, the first time that this has happened. You know, look, was he maybe a little bit injured? Probably. We're going to see something happen, probably where he goes on the DL with the groin again if he re-injures it and all the rest. But then why is he playing? Now, now it's back on the Yankees. But here's my thing. Let's, let's say even if Aaron Boone, even if Gary Sanchez was 80%, even if he was 70%, and he was running and he was doing his thing, let's just say, for the sake of argument, that he was 100%. There's going to be another situation where Gary Sanchez doesn't run to first base. This is not the first time. It's not going to be the last time. And so now where we're at, outside of Sanchez, if he hits the DL and Romine comes back in, Outside of the fact of Gary Sanchez being an elite hitter when he's back. He's not even doing that right now. Outside of the fact that Gary Sanchez has a, ter a terrific arm. Where are we at with this guy in the future of the New York Yankees? He is supposed to be 
a core player for the New York Yankees. He and Aaron Judge and Glaber Torres and right now Miguel Andujar, Luis Severino, and maybe somebody else in the minor leagues, a Justice Sheffield or someone else, uh, Esteban Florial. This is the group that's supposed to take the Yankees eventually to the promised land and to be a contender annually in Major League Baseball. If Sanchez is not a part of that, that's bad news for the New York Yankees. This video on IGTV, Facebook, and uh, YouTube is brought to you, of course, by Bryant and Stratton College and the Allen Angus Pub. I'm doing it here from the Phoenix Sports Restaurant. you got to get here during the days, during the nights, after work for cold beverage and an awesome entree six days a week. You can come bet on the races at Saratoga. I'm doing this, as we record this, I'm doing this on a dark Tuesday where there are no races in Saratoga, but you see the TVs behind me. They've got track races from all over the country, the biggest spots, and you can come see my friends Mike and the staff doing a fantastic job at the Phoenix Sports Restaurant. I've mentioned a couple of things here uh, during the day, uh, basically open until close. How about this one? Monday to Thursday lunch buffet, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. You get a soda or coffee with it for just $9.95. And then Monday to Sunday, seven days a week, you've got all-you-can-eat spreads, spaghetti, $10.95. Boneless wings, $15.95. Um, excuse me, $13.95. And then all-you-can-eat steak for $15.95. You just can't beat it at the Phoenix Sports Restaurant. Hey, when you go over uh, to, to eat something and grab a couple of cold ones, you go over and make your bets. It's pretty great. So where are we at with Gary Sanchez? What's next for Gary Sanchez? What are the Yankees going to do with this guy? Would they look to shop him? I don't think anybody's going to take him right now, especially if he is injured with that groin. In a perfect world, Yankee fans, of course, reacting on Twitter, going ape shit. Let's trade Sanchez and Adams and Florial and Frazier for Jacob deGrom. Just because that happened last night doesn't mean that the Mets are more able to trade Jacob DeGrom, I will tell you, I am not giving up on Gary Sanchez. I know the guy's been a head case. I know the guy's got a little bit of an attitude problem. I realize all that. But remember, the Yankees have been extremely patient with young players. They were not that way years ago. Brian Cashman takes over in 2005. He finds Sean Chacon and Aaron Small instead of going out and getting deals. Works the same exact way with the youth. What do they do that same year? They call up Robinson Cano. Cano goes up and, and hits the hell out of the baseball. Becomes a franchise fixture uh, all the way through until you leave Seattle. You take a look at a guy like Gary Sanchez. I just am not ready to give up yet. I mean, if the Yankees didn't give up on Greg Bird, who's been injured with the foot problems, why would you give up right now on Gary Sanchez? I think he needs a little bit more time until we justify this whole thing. But I also think at the same time, the Yankees have something to think about with this guy in terms of his attitude and all the rest. And actually, here we go. He is heading to the DL with an injury after not hustling the first base. That just came down from multiple baseball reports, including John Heyman. So Gary Sanchez is indeed to the DL. But the reality of the situation is I don't think the Yankees should give up on him just yet. Get the groin all the way right and get him healthy for the playoffs when you make it and see if he can go on a tear. But it is something to think about considering that Gary Sanchez is also an attitude problem even if he were injured running to first base and what's the percentage in terms of his health I don't know what it was but maybe he shouldn't have been playing and that is on the Yankees medical staff thanks for watching this video on IGTV Facebook and YouTube I'm Mike Lindsley all part of the ML Sports Platter where you can get me on Twitter at Mike L Sports. Download my podcast at Jay Billis on today from ESPN. You can download the ML Sports Platter via Spotify, Google Play Music, and Apple Podcasts. Thanks to the Phoenix Sports Restaurant for hosting me today. This video also brought to you by Wagurski Law Firm, Welch & Company Jewelers, and your State Farm agent, Matt Graham. Have a great day, and uh, hey, as I always tell you, enjoy the games.